Hey, this is Voices for Learning, where we help you grow as a voice actor. My name is Susan, and today I'm going to show you how to create a template in Audacity. So here I am in Audacity, and let's say that I want to have a template where it's for my podcast. And in my podcast, I always have my voice talking, then I typically have a guest who's talking, and then I also have music at the beginning and the end of the podcast. So for my template, I want three different tracks, my voice, my guest voice, and the um, music. So I'm going to save a template with three tracks. Uh, just add a new track. It's just tracks up here at the top, add new, mono track. Um, typically from my voice, from my voiceover, I'm always just going to have a mono track. And then for my guest, I'll put in a track for them. Now the way that I can quickly differentiate it is I can actually name each track. So to name the track, I'm going to go to over here on the left hand side, audio track, and I can open the menu. The first option is name. So I just simply click on name and I'm going to call it Susan because that's for my voice. The second track down here is going to be for my guest. So I'm going to go back to audio track, name, and then I'm going to title that one guest. Now, one other little kind of cool thing that you can do in Audacity is you can change colors of the waveforms in the tracks. So let's say that I want to keep my waveform uh, color to be a different color. You've got four different choices here, instrument one, two, three, and four. Instrument one is that typical Audacity blue wave file, but let's say that I want to get fancy and I want to do instrument two. Well, that color is red. Susan gets the red waveform. And for my guest, let's say that I want that guest to have a different waveform color. So instrument one is blue, instrument two is red, instrument three is actually green. Let me mute mine. Go down to my guest. So the green waveform, or for the guest waveform, is actually green. So that's how I can quickly tell them apart. Just when I go into editing, I am red, my guest is green. Then um, I also want to have for my template for my podcast, I always want to have intro music. So um, to do that, it's really, really easy. And I think probably the best way to do it for me anyway, is I just go to my folder where I keep all my music. Okay, and here's all my music. And then I just simply um, click on the music that I want and just drag it in. And I will use the far and wide. Just simply drag it in, drop it, and there it is. So I don't want this whole thing as my intro for my podcast, so I'm going to actually uh, just delete some of the section of it. So let me have you listen to it. Here's what it sounds like. And I think that's probably about like where I want it to end is about... Uh, that was, I don't know, 10 seconds. I think let's just do like five seconds. Let me go back to the beginning real fast. Okay, and that's about where I want it to end. So right here is where I want it to end. So I'm just simply going to select it and then just hit delete and that deletes what I don't want. So if you want to put an effect on it, like you want it to fade out <laughs> before the vocals come in or before the voiceover come in, um, you can just simply select what you want faded out. And then just go to effect up here at the top. And the effect is fade out. And there it is. So here you can hear it now. And so that would be like my podcast intro music. Now, obviously, I don't need this part of my voice, and I don't need this part of my guest voice, so I'm just going to delete those two. But I do want all of this, and let's say that like just for the sake of whatever, I want to have uh, everything unmuted. 
So when I go into Audacity, I can just quickly, you know, record, do what I need to do, um, and edit. So at this point, I am ready to save this as a template. I'm ready to go. To save as a template, it's just file. And instead of exporting, which is what you would typically do um, when you're exporting your file, you're actually going to save the project. So we'll just click on Save Project. Now, it gives you a warning. Save Project is for an Audacity project. In other words, like you're not going to get a song. You can't send this as an audition or as a demo. This is actually an Audacity project. It will only play on a computer that has Audacity installed. Um, and it even tells you, so it's not an audio file. For an audio file that will open in other apps, use export. And if you want to, you can click on don't show this warning again, but I won't. I'll just click on OK. So then what you do is it brings you into, um, well, a folder. Now, let's say that, like, obviously I've done this before. Um, let me just kind of, like, go to a random folder. So here I am on my D drive. You may want to just create a template folder, which I already have. So I have that template there, and I've got an Audacity audiobook template, an Audacity e-learning template, and an Audacity podcast. I'm going to call this Audacity um, podcast. I, I don't know. Like, let's say that like my podcast is about beekeeping, <laughs> and it's my template. So I'm going to specifically name exactly what it is. This is my Audacity podcast beekeeping template. It's not voiceover, it's beekeeping, and I don't actually have a beekeeping template, it's just practice. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it, and there it is. Now, if you ever want to get back to that, here, we'll just close out Audacity altogether, go into my folder, templates, now, let's say that you want to change your podcast um, beekeeping template around just a little bit. Here's how you do that. So I just simply go back into it, open up the podcast beekeeping. And uh, let's say that I want to get rid of my guest track because I realize I'm never really going to have a guest on my beekeeping template. And so I just simply click on the X for that track, and it gets rid of it. And let's say that I want to change the color of um, my music track. So my vocals are red, and I want to change this to a different color. So as you saw before, instrument one is blue, instrument two is red, instrument three is green, instrument four is black. There you go. And here is really how I want my template to be. So to resave your template or to save over your template, it's so easy. It's just File, Save Project, and Save Project. And that's it. So that is how you save a template. And I hope that you put this to use because it will save you a lot of time in Audacity especially all these just sort of like menial manual tasks that you have to do anyway, set up your template. It will help a whole lot. I hope you learned something. Please like, please subscribe for more fabulous, wonderful content about voice acting, Audacity, Studio One, Studio Time, and keep going. You're doing great. I will see you later. Bye.